shave of the day for today. It's December 12th, 2017. And I did want to say uh, thank you for joining me for the shave today. I definitely do appreciate that. I hope you're doing well. I'm not doing too bad myself. i uh, got about a few days, three days worth of growth here on the face. So definitely want to get my uh, shave on here. I did a shave on like uh, Saturday or Sunday. I didn't video it though. I just uh, <clears throat> wanted to get it done and kind of get had a lot going on over the weekend. So looking to be, you know, happy to be back though and uh, getting a video out here. So to get started, I wanted to go through some of the equipment I'll be using for the shave today. Okay, on the uh, hardware side, the razor I'm going to be using, I'll be going back to my uh, Gillette Super Adjustable, the Black Beauty here. This is a 1983 model here, and this was kindly sent to me by Russell Barton, aka Outlaw Shaver, or on YouTube. And uh, I would also recommend uh, checking out his company, Wild West Shaving Co., Dot com. He sells uh, shaving soaps, and I th think he's starting to sell some. Uh, he's a straight razor for sale, so <laughs> he's going to keep that up. That's pretty cool, so definitely check him out. And I really like this a lot. It's a real great shave. Uh, awesome. I like it a lot. It's starting to become one of my favorites. And I might stick with nine I have it here. We'll see. I usually like to stick with it, but if I feel I need to dial down, I will. <clears throat> and the brushing I'm using, I'm using my... Uh, Haircut and Shave Co. brush. It's got a 24 millimeter tuxedo style knot here. It's got a nice soft tips, but it's got a good backbone here. Not too floppy. Good, got some good spring in it. And uh, I like the handle. It's got a good weight to it. Definitely like that a lot. So I uh, definitely look forward to using it. It's always a good uh, brush here. Give me a second. I just got a Facebook notification I want to get rid of. There it goes. <laughs> it just bugged me. Okay, <clears throat> so then on the software side here, I actually have a new soap that I picked up from a local uh, person here, a soap maker. A while back, I was watching the news with my dad. I got a Sunday morning, and uh, they featured the one person. It's called the Shelly Soapy Barn, and they were. I looked them up on the internet just quick just to see what they're about, and they're actually from the same town that I'm in, which I was surprised. And they're actually maybe a couple miles down the road. So I picked up something from them. This is what, well, this is just the wrapper here. So it's Shelly Soapy Barn with that uh, shaving puck soap, four ounce uh, puck. <clears throat> and actually, the ingredients here, this was stuck on the back here, but it's made with coconut oil, shea butter, castor oil, lanolin, palm oil, olive oil, apricot kernel oil, bentonite clay, colloidal. Colloidal oatmeal, Never, I'm not sure how that's, sodium lactate, fragrance, color, water, and sodium hydroxide. <clears throat> so it's a little bit different than uh, some of the other soaps that I've been using here. Because uh, usually with these shaving soaps, stearic acid is like the number one ingredient. And uh, usually I use, uh, I believe it's a majority, a bigger percentage of potassium hydroxide. <clears throat> instead of uh, sodium like I was looking doing some research sometimes like 60 40 60 percent potassium 40 percent sodium but we'll see so uh and I believe this is cold process soap as well so the feeling that it might be uh more of a like a bath soap with clay in it but we'll try it out you know if anything hopefully it'll be slick if any you know because I've uh, tried some other soaps before they weren't as, didn't quite get the lab that I wanted, but they seem to be okay on the slickness. So we'll give it a try. And I do have it in a bowl here, just to kind of have it blooming. You see there, it's kind of a, got a little bit of a swirl in it. And it's got a nice scent. It's kind of a, I couldn't quite uh, put my finger on exactly what it smells like, but kind of a more of a men's fragrance, <clears throat> a little bit sweet. And I, and uh, to actually pair with that, I picked this. I guess Aqua Bubble Ice Sport. I think that this would be the. This is a little sweeter than that. But uh, I thought it would pair the best. So that's the aftershave we'll be using for the shave here. And then the balm we'll be using is this uh, Nivy Men Cooling Sensitive uh, Post Shave Balm. So I like this stuff a lot. It makes you. It feels great on the skin. So that's some of the hardware and the soft we'll be using for the shave. So we can go ahead and uh, get the shave started. So let's go ahead and rock this shave out. So first, I'm going to go ahead. <clears throat> And take some of this bloom water 
and put it on my face just as a pre-shave. The water's pretty milky. It feels pretty slick. So far. So it'll probably be okay. Just ditch that. Okay, then I'll go ahead and uh, put some hot water in this brush, get it wet. Okay, then I'll give it a couple good flicks. And uh, we'll try building the ladder here. So, oh, in here, you can probably see the soap a little bit better now. So it looks like, oh, see, it's not stuck in the bottom of this bowl. But yeah. Okay, so I'll start uh, trying this out here. See if I can get this built up here. It's all it's very slippery. But it's probably worked better if I had a dedicated uh, bowl for it, but we'll stick with it. It's kind of just going all over the place now, but that's fine. So I'll give it a little more. <clears throat> it's looking pretty some good suds going on here I guess it, we'll see how you know, thick and stable they are I'll just uh, start scooping this I think this is pretty well loaded so that's what it's looking like here looking terrible it's got some bigger bubbles in there but not terrible Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and bring this to face, start building up a lather here. definitely loaded this pretty heavy so hopefully this will give me enough for three passes I put a little more water here just a smidge <clears throat> I think we'll go with this Seems like it's dissipating a bit. It's, it's there. So, well, you know, maybe like I said, maybe this won't be a, a crazy lathered soap, but maybe it'll be slick. So uh, we'll go first pass going uh, with the grain here. It's down. I'm just going to adjust this a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> so try it out. Oh, and also this is a pole silver, third use on this blade, I believe. Well, it's... I feel like I got a good glide here. The blade's definitely uh, <clears throat> feeling pretty good. I don't feel like the cushion is it's great. Like I said, the lather's kind of thick, but... It's, well, it's thick, but it's not, you know what I mean? Definitely has some pretty good slickness, though, I think. Razor's definitely not getting hung up or anything like that. So you can kind of see though, it's uh, like I said, it's there. It's kind of bubbly, thin and bubbly, but not terrible.
Okay. <clears throat> That takes care of that. So, uh, first pass is complete. Went pretty well. <clears throat> like I said, it's not quite, you see here, the bubbles are, see how kind of big they are? Not exactly what we're looking for, but <clears throat> seems to be getting the job done. <clears throat> I messaged this lady on Facebook. So I went over to her house and picked it up. Okay, it's literally right down the road. And uh, I was telling her I thought it was pretty cool that she makes the shaving soap. You know, and I'm a traditional shaving enthusiast. And I think she said that she only makes it because I think she said her father-in-law uses it traditional shaves <clears throat> so that's why she made it so she makes soap for him and there's leather again like i said it's a little i know it's it's there but it's not oh, yeah it's but it's pretty it's decently slick so kind of makes up for that okay so second pass i'll go across the grain here i'm gonna stick with setting nine i think i just like the uh, blade feel might bring up to the maybe just tell her like you know the soap's performing decently but the lather just isn't what we are looking for necessarily which you know hopefully she'll You'll take the criticism. I think just some people don't like the idea of hot process or because <clears throat> that's usually what shaving soap is, the hot process, I believe. You know, I know some people can do like kind of like a kind of a cold process. Like I think uh, Uncle John does kind of a cold process where he doesn't like keep it in like a crock pot or something like that to <clears throat> keep it cooking he does this whole thing and he mixes it and then he kind of just puts it in his jars so it's well it's still hot when he's doing it because the the whole process the oils are hot and everything like that when he's mixing but it's not sitting in a crock pot for an hour or whatever so uh third pass here so definitely enough soap here for the uh, three passes like I said, I, it's getting there though. I did load heavy though. We'll go with that. Not very thick now, but we'll go for it. Third pass uh, against the grain. It's pretty slick though, so that's helping a lot. What it's lacking in the lather that I like, it's making up for in slickness, so that's a good thing.
<clears throat> yeah, so I just visited my dad a little bit ago. He needed help uh, picking out Christmas presents for some people. And he's like, you know, I'll probably just get you a gift card because then you can get whatever you want. I'm like, that's fine. But I pointed him and was like, you know, why don't you give me a gift card to Maggard Razors? Because <laughs> then I can get what I want. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'll do that. Perfect. I'm like, perfect, yes. So after Christmas, I'll place an order and I'll get something good, hopefully. I don't know what. Leave some suggestions uh, in the comments there. If you, what you think I should get. Like a razor or a certain soap. Maybe to get like a good... A nice uh, set, like a Barrister Man, like one of their cool seasonals. Like if they have any Fougere Gothique or whatever. We'll see. Let me know what you think. Okay, so third pass uh, turned out pretty pretty close shave, I gotta say. And that razor definitely, it's great. I love that razor. So, I love the aggressiveness. It just gives you a great shave when you use it. And the soap did pretty good. It did better than I thought I was going to do, to tell you the truth. Like I said, the... <clears throat> wasn't quite there. I don't think I need to do any pickups to be honest with you. I feel, I'm feeling pretty good just from what I'm feeling around here. <clears throat> so we'll leave it at that. But like I said, the lather wasn't great, but <laughs> it was slick. So that, that definitely helped. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and just put some uh, water in the face here. Some cold water. Do cold water rinse. Just like this, could probably shave just like that. But I'll bring the uh, Alan to my face here, just to see what he has to say. A little feedback, not too much though. Nothing uncomfortable. On the neck, it definitely hurts a bit more because that's just a sensitive spot for me. Very nice, though. Okay. Now I'll go ahead and uh, use this Aqua Velva Ice Sport after shave here. I like this stuff a lot. It's got an awesome scent. It smells real good. So just, uh, it's got a good restrictor, too. Not too big like the other Aqua Velva. That's nice. Just a little bit of cooling, too. That's a... I don't need too much, though, because it's nice and cold. We finally got some uh, snow here over the weekend. I was hoping we'd get away with none, but it's not how it went. Okay. Okay, then while this is uh, drying down here, We'll just go through what, what we used again for the shave here. So the razor again was this uh, 1983 Gillette Super Adjustable, aka Black Beauty. They had really nice. Uh, the blade was a pole silver on its third use, so uh, actually felt better on the third use than on the first use, I think. So <laughs> real nice. They did a great job. The brush again this is the Haircut and Shave Co. Uh, brush. It's got that 24 millimeter tuxedo style knot. Great brush here. The soap. Again, this was a shaving puck, just like the men's one. They have a women's one as well. From uh, Shelly Soapy Barn. That's in Lake Ariel, Pennsylvania. And she's on Etsy, too, if you want to look her up. And then the, uh, again, the aftershave, Aqua Bubba Ice Sport. Very nice stuff. And then the balm we'll be using, this Nivea Men Cooling. So, sensitive post shave balm. Got that backwards a little bit, that's fine. Bit here. Yep. Mm. Mm, feels great. If I was uncomfortable at all, gone now. Something about it, just man. I really like it. Makes your makes the face feel wonderful. <clears throat> Very good. Okay, so that takes care of the uh, shave of the day for today. So I did want to say uh, thank you for checking out the video. I definitely do appreciate that. 
uh, please like and comment below. Definitely like seeing those likes. Definitely like getting the comments from everybody, you know, keeping the conversation going. Uh, please uh, subscribe. You can either, you can do that below or I'll try to leave a, uh, a link right here that you can uh, click on. And also, uh, please check out my other videos. You know, I got plenty of them to check out. If you're new, I'll try to leave a suggested video right here. So again, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great night. Hope you have some great shaves.